morning guys i wanted to do this video because uh my subscriber aaron wanted to see how the trip bucket was hooked up because he bought one and didn't have it hooked up which mine was too i just kind of played around and figured it out but you can see where that initially bolts up and it comes back and you got uh four u-bolts i guess you'd call them u-bolts uh kind of like what you'd see oh no i think they're j-hooks yep j-hooks they're just some J hooks uh, or J bolts, whatever you want to call them. And then the lines, I only had two of the lines of mine, but you can see where you hook them up to there. And I just kind of turned them into a Y with a fitting here on each side. That way both of them have it. And then I had MFA make the back line, which routes back around. And I sent it over the toolbox. And you just hook it back into your PTO. But uh, the nice part is whenever you have that shutoff valve like I have over here, you can raise the bucket and just turn that valve to shut it off, to shut it, the hydraulics off to it, and the bucket will just stay wherever you leave it. And then you can work the back hydraulics for the rear. Because if you have this turned on and you're working the bucket and you have like a a blade or something on the back it's going to want to sit dropped you got to close that off or just take off whatever's on the back so that's the only downside to having it run off all one thing but uh it does work i had my cylinders resealed uh, they do leak a little bit which i was told they would because they were kind of rusty go figures but uh the trip side i haven't got the trip cable working i haven't really cared to i'm thinking about actually putting a hydraulic cylinder in the middle so I, maybe I can move it back and forth make it a little bit more useful than what it is because uh, I like doing weird custom crap but there it is um, oh yeah and don't forget about this center rod if you don't have this center rod hooked up to these two guys when you pick crap up this thing will bow out uh, I have no idea what kind of damage it will do didn't try to find out I hooked it up so recommend you do the same and if you don't have this thing i'm sure you could probably make something pretty easily it doesn't look that hard um but hopefully that's what you're looking for aaron and if anybody else has questions just uh make a comment and if you guys subscribe i'll make more videos i appreciate uh y'all watching thank you